told you to call Mike Scott Plumbing to get this leak fixed. I did call the plumbers. They were just here. Let me get this straight. You're telling me Mike Scott Plumbing was just here? Uh, well, not exactly. Well, then who exactly was here? You know, the other plumbers. They were having a sale. Is that why there's duct tape on my toilet? Wait, I don't see any, uh, oh, that duct tape. Uh, well, at least it matches the grout color. There's a reason we only call Mike Scott Plumbing. They're on time every time. They don't charge extra for nights, weekends, or holidays. And most importantly, and I need you to pay attention on this part, they actually fix it. Okay. Want me to try to fix it? Yes, yes I do. By calling Mike Scott Plumbing, like you should have done in the first place. Yes, dear. What's the number again? You really should know this by heart. 866-314-4443. Got it. 866-314-4443. On next week's episode of What Not To Do. Seriously? A helicopter? W-W-W-W-W-O-C-A Your source for the number one sports weekend, Fox Sports, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. We are the source, W-O-C-A. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Tuesday morning. Hope you're doing well, and we got some fun stuff to kind of share with you. Uh, Galen Unold has not called in. He might. He just might be sleeping in this morning. He did have a long drive yesterday after a long yeah. week up in Atlanta, right? Yeah, he did, uh, or maybe he's in a meeting this morning. Could, could be in a meeting, uh, and so, of course, we'll, we'll cover for Galen. We, we can't be as entertaining, I don't think, as Galen is, but... Uh, <laughs> he's pretty much fun. But we will do what we can do. The, uh, the like blood... That. Bank, of course, uh, the Life South Blood. You call it a blood bank, the blood, com- whatever it is. Uh, blood centers, Life South Community Blood Center on Silver Springs Boulevard. Yeah. I'm sure you know this. Yeah, it, yesterday on Labor Day, it was interesting to look at the the dollar amount that a phlebotomist makes, and and so many of the other jobs, and mm-hmm. and and you realize that uh, there's there's a lot of good jobs in our community that that are good in the sense that, that they do good things but they're, they're not necessarily high paying jobs mm-hmm. a, lot, a lot of good jobs but not necessarily high paying jobs right exactly uh, and I also have uh, some information about the beginning of autumn oh, I, nice. I know it's a little bit soon I know it's, a, it's no, still it's summer not. It's, it's still it's, summertime it's got that autumn feel in the mornings though it's a good hair day <laughs> Galen <laughs> is that you? yeah hey good morning Larry hey, Robbins good how good how, how is where are you right now? I'm at home I'm about to leave Oh, okay. See, we thought maybe you were sleeping in. What time did you get home yesterday? Uh, about 10.30. Wow. 10.30 last night. Did you just fall down? Did you say, oh, I'm so tired? No, no, no. 10.30 this mor- in the morning. Oh, okay. 10.30 yesterday? I, I, left, I left Atlanta at about 5.30. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, so uh, what's, what's you, wh- now that it's all, pa- are you still buzzing from it all? That's a, that's a long time to be away, and you had a lot to do. Uh, uh, yeah, just trying to get back into the swing of things and, uh, you know, get some rest, hopefully, this weekend. That's kind of where we're at. Well, just just if it'll help, uh, pumpkin spices are starting to show up. <laughs> yes, they are. They're everywhere. <laughs> there you go. That's true. That's so, very, very true. It, it is a sure sign that autumn is almost here. Yeah. When pumpkin yeah. Sp- spice things start to show up. I can, I can almost smell it. In the, yeah, in yeah. The, in, in the memory of my nose. Do you, yeah. have a, do you have nose memory? Do you have smell memory? <laughs> do do. Oh, absolutely. There are certain things that when you smell it, just takes you somewhere. Absolutely. Yeah. There are some books that when I read some books, it'll, if it, it'll take me to a certain place in my mind, and I, it's like I can smell whatever it is I'm reading. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, sure. Like, like it some, does. Like somebody's, yeah, yeah. somebody's attic or, or an old swimming pool area or something like that. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's see. First, the business part of this. How how is the uh, blood supply? What do we need to know? Uh, again, A negatives is is where we're at. A uh, lot of O we need O, and we need uh, A positive platelet. So that's kind of where we're going. And what's your day like today? Is it? Uh, is it? I'm going to just take it a little easier. Take it easy. Um, just got to f- run some final reports from from the uh, event this weekend and kind of see where we ended up and kind of go from there. Did you have anything that you saw that while in, you were in Atlanta that you'll never be able to erase from your memory? Any, anything that was so like, oh, jeez, I'll never forget that. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely. Not all of them good, but yeah, oh. yeah, I did. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, yeah, sometimes that happens. I want, you, I want you to tell me what they are. But first, let me tell you this. Pen flooring makes this announcement <laughs> possible. 
Go see the folks at Penn Flooring and uh, check out what kinds of ideas you can get for your own floor and remodel your home from the floor up. They've got some beautiful samples over at their showroom, which is at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. Penn Flooring has been providing beautiful flooring and quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Go check it out. And uh, the, the showroom, again, 1201 Southwest 17th Street by the McKay-Williams Bridge, mm -hmm. just a few blocks from Pine Avenue. Uh, the bridge crosses a railroad tracks, so in case you want to yep. know. And thank them for sponsoring Galen Unold and Life South. Thank you, Penn Flooring. Yeah, absolutely. So what, what kind of images? I, I want to hear the bad ones. What, what kind of images will well, you never be able to forget? I mean, there were just some... some Attire that should never be worn <laughs> by certain individuals. Um, so, I mean, there was a there was a bunch of guys who were dressed up as like uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah. That uh, seems to be that seems to be common. Every year you hear about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That one was. This one was. This dude had more hair than any human being possible. <laughs> I really thought it was like going for the werewolf look, but uh, that was. That was horrible. <laughs> um, uh, that one, that one really stands out the most. <laughs> yes. But there were also a lot, a lot of cool things. So they actually had one of the cars um, from the Back to the Future. The, the the very first Back to the Future car was was in the parade this year. So wow. it wasn't like a, what somebody actually made, but it was the actual car. Now that how, was now, pretty cool. Gosh, now, how fast? Yeah. Remind me, how fast did that thing have to go to go back in time? Was it 85? 88 miles an hour. 88. 88. 88. Yeah. Hmm. 88. Yeah, which it's crazy because a DeLorean can't go 88 miles an hour. <laughs> oh. It's too dang heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's only a four-cylinder car. So oh, gosh. Things were slow. They're slow. So, but that was, that was, uh, that was really, really cool. So, I asked to sit in it. And the guy, like, he, he didn't just say no. He's like, he looked at me like I was the dumbest human being on the planet for asking that question. <laughs> oh. I thought it was funny. Oh, really? I mean, there were, there were probably... Was he arrogant? Was before the parade starts. And, Wait, did you, um, did you no, perceive no, it as arrogant? No. He, what? Was a, he was a security guard. I mean, he didn't own it. Ah, and, uh, okay, okay. I think it was on loan from somewhere. So, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and he looked at me like... You have to be the dumbest human being on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Gee. So, I mean, somebody's got to ask. Exactly. You know? Well, exactly. It's part of the festivities. Fun. I don't know my part of the festivities at that point. I was not worthy of sitting in the back of the future <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. You might do it one day, and and you can go back to that time and and actually do it at that moment. That's right. If, up to 88 miles go. an hour. If, 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 if there's a way to travel back in time. Good morning. You're on the air with Galen. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Galen. Uh, good morning. Mike McCoy. Hey, uh, Galen, Mike. I'm sorry, my friend, but I, I do have to disagree with you on something uh, minor. Something uh, minor. The DeLorean, if that's the vehicle you're talking about in the back of the future, yeah. was actually yeah. it was a it was a 2.7 liter uh V6 engine and it's oh, okay. do over 88 miles per hour and uh, all right. Uh, but in fact, I almost bought one of those things. Thank goodness I didn't. But when I lived in Ireland, I actually helped dismantle the factory or part of the factory that uh, where the DeLoreans were made. Oh wow! And the stainless steel body on those wasn't as heavy as you think it was. They they were they were hefty enough, but. Uh, they were quite quick, but they used a V6 engine that was used in Peugeot, Renault, and Volvos, uh, the old in, in that age, and it was called a PRV nice. motor, Peugeot, Renault, Volvo. Wow! And, uh, but it was a 2.7 liter, and uh, it was a great idea. It had a lot of great features on it, but uh, unfortunately, um, they had a tendency to snort. <laughs> <laughs> to snort? What, 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 what was that? The <laughs> flux capacitor? Is that what they did? <laughs> I think Robin got it. <laughs> DeLorean. Ah, yeah. uh, it's not. Yeah, yeah, Robin. Yeah. Robin always gets everything yeah. before me. Okay, good job, Robin. Anyway, <laughs> FYI, guys. Thank anyway, you. Just let you know. Sorry, Galen. So it could go. No, no, it, don't apologize. I like that. I'd rather be right. Could go idiot, yeah. Well, that's cool uh, yeah. where right, it was so made, and uh, he was actually there. The, right, the question, could it go 88 if I was driving it, though? <laughs> See, I don't think it could. Not if I was driving it. Unless that was a speed limit, then you would do that. <laughs> oh, if it was a speed limit, then I could do it, yes. Yeah. <laughs>
because you won't break. Uh, unless it's a Canadian driver. I'll, put, I'll, I'll take myself. <laughs> I didn't get a laugh when I said me. I'll get a laugh when I say Canadian driver. No, they, well, the Canadian, just funny. Right. All the time. Funny. <laughs> See, you learn so many things to try to. I try to get a laugh, and, and I know if it doesn't get a laugh, I'll try something else. <laughs> there you go. Keep going, Larry. Just keep punny. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty cool. I mean, he was actually there. I had no clue where the oh, DeLorean yeah, was manufactured, and that is a, a cool, cool piece. Of, I, I never heard of that car. So why was it such a failure? The, what I don't understand about that car, every, mm -hmm. everybody says it was a horrible car. What about it was horrible? Was it was it the fact that it was heavy? Well, they no, the fact it just went out of business. I mean, I, I think they didn't make that many, and then they... Uh, but aside from that, why was it horrible? Why would you regret buying one? Yeah. I, I don't know that. I hmm. have no idea. Is it is it sort of like a, a gremlin? Remember the gremlin? Oh, yeah, I remember those. <laughs> well, the gremlin sold. <laughs> they sold, but every, everybody, like, hated them. Like, yeah. I hate my car. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, why'd you buy it? I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of like that roller skate car that, you know, you deem... The roller, roller skate, skate car, car, yeah. Yeah, it's... That's on that same kind of All point. right, when we come back, I have uh, <laughs> evidence that autumn is almost here. Autumn is almost here by the, by the evidence of the new pumpkin. Where do you hear all the things that come in pumpkin spice varieties? I'll tell you about it when we come back with okay. Galen Unold from Life South <laughs> recouping from his week in Atlanta at yeah. Dragon Con. We'll sure be right am. back. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results and all but given up on my sex life. Then I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow, they made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mayo treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Palm Garden of Ocala is hosting Chats at the Garden, and you are invited to attend. On Thursday, September 10th from 2 to 3, Dr. Erica Olstein will speak about Eastern medicine and acupuncture. Palm Garden is located on the corner of 27th Avenue and 34th Street. Chats at the Garden is free, and light refreshments will be served. For more information, call Palm Garden at 854-6262. That number again, 854-6262. Do you drink bottled water because you don't like the taste of your tap water or you suspect it's not safe? Not anymore. I went to SafewayWater.com. Their water doctors make free house calls and they are trained water treatment professionals. If your water is under the weather or you're dealing with well water problems, call Safeway Water at 855-999-SAFE. And be sure to drink plenty of water each day to keep the doctor away. Safeway Water. SafewayWater.com. 17 minutes after 8 o'clock, Galen Unold on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center doing his job again today. Yeah. After being up in stopped. Atlanta for a week with uh, with Life South at the uh, Dragon right. Con event. And uh, we were talking during the break how if you have uh, people in costumes that look horrible, <laughs> you do have selective viewing. I have selective viewing. Yeah. I, I have it right here at the window. <laughs> Somebody Sometimes some Robin will say, did you see that guy? And I said, what guy? <laughs> yeah. See, there was no guy. It's far. You could go to the beach. Did you see that guy? I didn't see a guy. No, no. I like that selective viewing. Uh, and and Robin was just reminding me that uh, this Saturday is the Six Gun reunion. Uh, yep. And everybody's chatting about this. Is it both days or just Saturday Saturday and Sunday? Saturday and Sunday. Yep. So Up there in Williston, ten bucks a ticket in advance. And let's see, we don't do that. That's wonderful. That's, oh, a, I'm that's sorry. like an ad. But I'm uh, sorry, I didn't for, but for those who want to, but those who want to go, it's it's a fun thing. I know you want to go, and, and you are going. So. Yeah, because I'll see a lot of people there that I worked well, with. Well, you work there, and it's just it's, yeah. it's, it's a, just be so cool. It's a reunion. The, the guys that I've worked with, you know. All those years. It's a reunion. Six years, Scott I Proctor, by the way, looked yeah, awesome in that there. that picture. Did you see his picture? Yeah, yeah I did. Scott Proctor Scott from Proctor Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Yeah. 
exactly. uh, was one of the cowboys. Yeah. And, and I guess he's... Oh, I didn't know that. And he's going to do it again, right? Oh, yeah. This weekend? Yeah, he's going to do it And again. man, he's, a, he's got movie star looks. Yeah, he does. That was one sort of... Sort of like Galen. Galen has movie star looks. Oh, Galen does too. Yeah, sure. there you go. Yeah, silent movies or something. <laughs> <laughs> Why silent? You're a talker. But, well, I don't know, black and white. Yeah, that's true. That didn't come out well. All right, so uh, autumn is, um, is not here yet, but uh, there's evidence that it's coming around the corner, and it's not the foliage, which I know Galen loves the foliage. <laughs> well, you know, people who go up and look at the leaves are, have a special place. And, <laughs> you know, they, they enjoy their leaves. The uh, Farmer's Almanac has the peak foliage dates already published. Um, Alabama will see their foliage between October 19th and November 4th. Oh, okay. Boy, that's awesome. Okay. F- Florida will be between November 2nd and November 11th. Oh. We, really? We have, I guess, in the upper part of the state. Yeah, I, I just thought it was like January they finally... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ge- we don't really have foliage. Christmas. Georgia has their foliage October 19th through November 4th. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you want to see foliage. But more important than foliage is pumpkin spice. <laughs> I almost bought a pumpkin spice candle the other day, but I just didn't care. For so it. here, yes, pumpkin spice candles is one of the things that pumpkin spice yeah. shows up in. Are you ready for the <laughs> things, Galen? You yeah, can I'm get ready. pumpkin spice Chobani Greek yogurt. Pumpkin spice oh. Chobani Greek okay. yogurt. Why not? <laughs> Be healthy. You can get pumpkin spice Pepperidge Farm cookies. Okay. You can get pup, pe- uh, p- pumpkin spice Pop Tarts. Oh. <laughs> oh. Pumpkin spice Starbucks coffees. I might try oh, I that. Knew that one. Yeah. Do you like pumpkin spice? Not this much. No. I do not like pumpkin spice. Not at all, huh? I'm not a big fan of pumpkin. No. Pumpkin. Not sp- a big fan of pumpkin. Pumpkin spice Hershey's kisses. Really? Yeah. Maybe I'll try those because I like chocolate. Pumpkin spice tea, tea bags. That sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not a big pumpkin fan. Pumpkin spice Russell Stover chocolates. Ooh, let me try those too. Pumpkin pumpkin spice coffee creamer is out there. Pumpkin spice. That's, yeah, my wife likes that. Does oh, she? does she? Would you like that, Larry? Mm. If you were still drinking coffee, would you try it? Well, I might. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pumpkin spice flavored Seven Up. Ooh. Oh. P- pumpkin spice flavored Seven Up. <laughs> Look at that. Do you like these new uh, dispensers they have in the fast food places where it's one p- thing and you push these buttons on the screen and... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they I like to drink Bill Coke. Those things are awesome. The 100 or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. 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 Pumpkin smi- uh, spice smoothies. Pumpkin spice smoothies. Nice. Pumpkin spice M&M's. Mm. There you go. I don't know. Okay. If Hershey's is going to have it, I guess... Yeah. M&M show. Pumpkin yeah. spice Kellogg's mini wheats. Oh. <laughs> okay. P- of course you knew this one was going to be here. pumpkin spice little Debbie cakes. Oh yeah. <laughs> now that's pretty close to a pumpkin pie, so I I'll probably try those. Pumpkin spice Toll House cookies. Pumpkin spice Cool Whip. Ooh. Pumpkin spice Cool Whip. <laughs> that Just, might be good why on not? pumpkin why not? pie. Might yeah. be good. I I think I'll get that. Pumpkin spice Oreos. They're already out there, by the way. Oh. Jeez. Pumpkin spice Jif peanut butter. Would you try that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I, I like my peanut butter to taste like peanut butter, Larry. I right, Call me old-fashioned. But, uh, me too. Now, mm-hmm. s- now so far... Yeah, I mean, old- what, 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 why would you want peanut butter to taste like anything other than <laughs> peanut butter? <laughs> so far, all of these sort of make sense. Here's, here's one. Pumpkin spice chicken sausage. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Pumpkin spice chicken. Like Jimmy Dean, right? I don't know. That kind of sausage? Yeah. Pumpkin spice yogurt pretzels. I might be able okay. to handle that. Pumpkin spice flavored pancake syrup. Oh, no. Pumpkin spice flavored oatmeal. No. Pumper, pumpkin spice flavored Leinen Flugels beer. <laughs> <laughs> Now that I'll try. <laughs> Pumpkin spice planters almonds. And the one I crossed out because I looked on Snopes to see if it was for real and it turns out it's not. So Snoops? if you so if Snoops. you Snoops. Snoops? Snoops? What I say? Snoops. Okay. Snoops. Okay. Whatever it is, is called. Is it Snoops? I don't know. Whatever Snoops. it is. I looked it up. Snoops. 
Okay. What did I say? Scopes? Snopes. Okay. It's Snopes. It's Snoops. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever. I, I looked it up, and there. If you, if you get an email, if you see an article, there are no pumpkin spice tampons. It's oh, gee. I, I look. <laughs> it had it on the list. It even showed a package, and I said, "There's no way." And I went to what's it called? Snoops. 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 And it's not. The, it's, it Snoops. says it's false. Absolutely false. Yeah, but it makes sense though. I mean, why? Like a, a, a no, permeating why, what, aroma, what, you know. How does that make sense? Well, because it's oh a permeating, right. permeating aroma. You know, you have to <laughs> because they have they, they have perfumed ones anyway. So you might as well put a flavor to them. Again, this is why I'm glad I had boys. <laughs> 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 Good morning. You're on the air. Hey, morning again, guys. Hey, um, you know, there was a, I read an article, and they were talking about the, the smells. You know how smells have effect on your how you feel about things? And the number one um, smell that turns a woman on, uh, and, and no, Larry, it, it's not money. It's it's not money. It's, it's <laughs> pumpkin pie is the number one thing that that turns a woman on. Really? Is that really? Yeah. I yeah, love pumpkin Larry's pie. Now Larry's going to go home and bake pies. <laughs> 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 it was uh, some really scientific, I'm sure somebody made a lot of money uh, researching this and probably had a lot of fun too, but... Um, yeah. Uh, but Yeah, pumpkin pie. Hmm. So, I know I like pumpkin pie, but I, no, I just... Not too much of it anymore. <laughs> so pumpkin, pump, pump, so so if you go to Dragon Con next time, Galen, give the guy with the <laughs> with the Wonder Woman con, a little pumpkin spice. And the hairy one. Oh right. boy, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. No. All right, thank you. Did I tell you? Thank, did I tell you many weeds, many weeds, pumpkin spice. Did I tell you that one? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I can't imagine putting milk on that though. All right, there you go. With pumpkin spice with milk. I just can't imagine. Little Debbie cakes. The, the Cool Whip sounds good to me. Galen, you live in the city limits. I'm t- totally changing the topic because we only have a few minutes left. Oh. Are, are you uh, you in the city limits? You, are you voting in the election on uh, Tuesday? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in the city limits. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, you know. It's the smallest ballot I've ever seen. There's four yeah. names on it. Two people running for mayor and two people running for city council. That's it. Yeah. Crazy. Well, at least we, at least we have a choice, huh? <laughs> yeah, and they're four good men. They each have their attributes, but, you know, we can only vote for one in each office, so. I'm voting for one incumbent and one challenger. Mm-hmm. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> you, f- dun, 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 dun. you figure out. You figure out which incumbent, which challenger. <laughs> Voting for one incumbent, one challenger. Yeah. If I could vote in the election, I would do the same thing. All right. Uh, well, you've got a day ahead of you. It's gonna, it, it's it's kind of hard when you come back from a trip, isn't it? To get, oh, yeah. To get back it, into it, the it swing of things? On the second day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the uh, kids just went to school and wife went to work. And so. Did you know I hit a count? It hit me like a ton of bricks. Mm-hmm. Did, did you know I hit a count? That was like hitting a ton of bricks, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yes, I do know you hit a cow. You got a new car today, Larry. The, today, yes, oh, I told you that already. I didn't know if I yes, told you that. So yes, today I go afternoon. pick up a car. Yes. Yep. Awesome. So I'll be driving I'm around. You, I'm, I'm proud of you, Larry. You're proud of me. Proud. But I, but I have a feeling I'm still going to be stuck with the making fun of Larry's car thing. Yeah, people. Because I don't know why they do that. It's just part of who you are. It's just part of who I am because it's a small car again. So everybody always makes fun of me when I have a small car. mm Hmm. Yeah, but you're comfortable in it. I asked Matt, who sold me the car. I said, if I buy a car from you, <laughs> will you continue to make fun of my car? He said, probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, see? well, there you go. There's, some, there's a comfort in there for all of us. <laughs> do you know, I, I was actually thinking, maybe I could do it without a car. I mean, I could live without a car. I could, I could do public transportation. I have to get the mm-hmm. bus. and Yeah. i do it if it came out to my place. You would it, live without a car? It doesn't do it. No, I would have the car, but I would use public transportation most of the time. Really? If it came out to my place, yeah. Yeah, because that that's good. But Suntran doesn't come out past on top of the world. Past uh, the interstate. They don't go out past that. Gail, where's the uh, blood mobile today? Blood mobile today, Larry, is actually at the Walmart out on uh, Wedgwood Avenue. Oh, nice. What is it? Lane. Wedgewood, Wedgewood Lane. Lane. That's right. Lane. Wedgewood yeah. Lane. Lane. Oh, Lane. Lane. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now we got yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. In the villages. Do you have a place at, at your job yeah. where you could take a nap? Do you Do you have a place where you could just yeah. say, 
No, no nap, no napping places, huh? No, no, no. It's not Google. What if you, <laughs> what if you went to where the uh, phlebotomists draw blood? There's nobody in there. Oh, that would be even worse. <laughs> There's a lot of people in there, or then I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> now everybody looks to you, Galen. I'm sure that they all missed you when you were gone because you really are the glue that holds everybody together. I know you've got a great team and everything, but the team has to have a good leader, and we feel you're it. You're well, it. I appreciate that. Thank you very That's, much. That was a game when you were a kid, remember? You're it. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. fun. You're it. I like that game. All right, Galen. Still play tag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go down to uh, the Blood Mobile if you can. If you can't get down there to Wedgwood Lane, mm-hmm. then uh, on Silver Springs Boulevard is where you'll find Life South. There is yep. no Life South in Denellen anymore, correct? No, that's right. Yeah. What happened to those people? Did they move over here to work? Yeah, yeah. What happened was is the we were sharing that with a uh, another uh, hospital, and they closed it down. So. Oh, okay. So those people still work in somewhere, right? They didn't get laid yeah, off? Yeah, absolutely. Huh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Nice. Lateral moves. Right, That's Kim. why we love life south. Well, enjoy today, and uh, good to have you back. I'm glad you got home safely, and thank you for what you do. Oh, thank you guys for this. I appreciate it very much. Talk and to you all tomorrow. Y'all be good. Thank you. We'll take a little break. We'll be Bye right y'all. back. I'm Lillian Wu. Congress back from a month-long recess today to face a number of pressing issues. The House and Senate could vote as soon as this week on a so-called resolution of disapproval, giving the thumbs down to the Iran nuclear deal. Republicans like Senator Ted Cruz, who's also running for president, are concerned about what Iran will do with the sanctions relief that's part of the agreement. Fox Radio's Rachel Sutherland. Cruz believes that much of that money will be passed on to Hamas, to Hezbollah, to the Houthis, to other radical Islamic terrorists. If passed, a resolution faces a sure veto. The president has enough votes to sustain a veto. Presidential candidate Mike Huckabee joining protesters rallying in support of the Kentucky clerk jailed for refusing to issue marriage licenses to gay couples and radical reforms for annulling marriages from Pope Francis was allowing the Catholic Church to fast-track decisions and remove automatic appeals. Fox News, we report you There's more to Fox News Radio than meets the ear. Go behind the headlines and join the conversation on the hottest stories of the day on the Fox News Radio Facebook page. Be a part of the Fox News Radio Facebook fan community. Post comments and tell us your opinion. See behind-the-scenes photos and videos and post your reactions to the stories that matter to you. Click the like button on Facebook and connect with breaking news and features like Fox in the Fast Lane, House Call for Help, and more. Go to Facebook.com slash Fox News Radio. Weeknights, we're busting out a brand new lineup. First, market fraud, government abuse, corruption. At five, nothing's off limits on money with Melissa Francis. Then, from bloated bank fees to consumer scams. At six, Jerry's exposing the issues impacting your wallet. Plus, get smart market insight and trusted analysis you won't find anywhere else. At seven, Lou Dobbs is all business. And the first and last name in business, Cavuto. Shedding light on the biggest stories, making headlines at eight. Only on the Fox Business Network, giving you the power to prosper. Howdy, R.L. here for Dairy Queen. Spring is in the air, and so is the smell of meat cooking on our charbroil grill. You want to treat yourself to one of our most excellent grilled chicken sandwiches or wraps, or maybe a foot-long all-beef chili dog, and wash it down with an orange Julius fruit smoothie with many real fruit flavors. So come on down to Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. Are you in need of custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th Street next to Armstrong Homes in beautiful Ocala. We offer the best prices and highest quality products for your company, team, school, or nonprofit. Whether looking for screen printed shirts, embroidered polos, or travel team uniforms, you'll be sure to find it at Legacy Team Sales. Come visit our new 27,000 square foot facility. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will assist you